Rahim, the topic is today polygons. I am starting here. Polygon. Poly stand for many. Poly stand for many. Gon stand for sides. Okay. So many sides. Poly, many, gon means side. So those kind of ideas. So many sides. For example, enclosed. This triangle. This is a square. And then I'll go for the pentagon. I discussed last time, but I, today I'll discuss in detail, inshallah. Okay, and I'll give a formulas even. Okay, so we have uh, uh, we have basically four formulas. I'm going to explain here. Okay, this is a equilateral triangle. So all sides are equal, all sides are equal, and all sides are equal to each other. So we have a formula. Uh, formulas. Let me write here on the top. Uh, or here, no issue. Sum of the sum of the interior angles, interior angles. Okay. Formula is n minus two times two one eighty. This formula is for all shapes. For all shapes. All shapes. Okay. So this formula will help you in a higher grades even. These formulas, what I'm going to explain. Okay, this formula for all shapes. All shape means regular or irregular. Okay, so uh, if you want to see, so when I put this three sides, so n is three here, n is three. So you know it is 180. When I put three here, so sum of the interior angle formulas is three, put three here. So three minus two into 180, we got 180. It means this plus this plus this equal to 180. Okay. But if I need to find each angle, one, one each. So what is method divided by number of sides? So each interior angle, if you want, interior. So 180 divided by three, we got a 60 degree. It means you got a 60 degree, so 60, 60, and 60. So we can find, but this formula, I'm writing here. So each interior formula, each interior angle, we can find, so the same answer n minus 2 into 180 divided by the sides n stand for side you can see even you can see even look so n minus 2 into 180 i got 180 180 divided by 3 3 stand for number of sides and i got 60. so it means if you need without working direct now in your formula so put this three put this three here and here and when you type whole, you get directly 60. Okay. So that is why, okay, this is two formulas. But this formula is only for, only for regular shapes. Only for regular shape, like regular. You ask, so what is regular? Regular and irregular. Look, this is a pentagon. One, two, three, four, five. This is also called pentagon. But this pentagon is not regular. Okay. Interesting thing. This angle plus two, three angle, four angle, and five angle. If you add all five angles, you get again the same answer. But this formula is valid for this shape. But this formula is not valid for this shape. Reason, this is formula for all shapes. And this formula for only and only regular. Regular means all sides are equal. Regular means all sides are equal. So it means this formula. Okay. One, okay, what about this one? So let's see, sum of the interior angles, you know it, sum of the interior angles, what? So, uh, formula is n, n is 4 here, n is 4. So 4 minus 2 into 180, we got 360. And you see, 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90, 360. And if I need each interior angle, each interior angle, so how to find interior angle 360? Divide by number of sides and number of sides are 4 and I got 90 it means clear okay let's go for this formula okay so when you go for this formula let's see how we can get it okay so formula is what sum of the interior angles so formula same so how many side 1 2 3 4 5 so n is 5 so when I put 5 here so 5 minus 2 into 180 I get 540 Okay, it means this angle plus this angle plus and plus and plus will give you 540. But if I need each interior angle, like each one, each interior. 
So how to get each interior angle? 540 divided by uh, in a number of sides are what? 5. So 5 divided, I get 108. And interesting, 108 plus 108, like this one students, 108 plus 108 plus 108, 108 and 108. And if you add them all, you get 540. Okay. So this formula is for regular shapes or irregular both, but the lower one for all irregular. Now I'm going to teach you another formula. What that formula is? Sum of exterior angle formulas. Sum of exterior angles. Okay. Is what? Is equal to 360. Okay. If you said no, sir, I'm not understanding how 360. So look here, students, all of you. If you extend the line, extend the line, and extend the line. Okay. My question, how much this angle is a 60, sir? How much this outer angle? If I ask you what is the outer angle, this one, you say, sir, not a hard. Straight line, 180 minus 660, I got a 120. Just straight line, 60 gone, 120. Straight line, 60 gone, 120. Please add them. 120 plus 120 plus 120. It becomes 360. Okay. Check this one. How much angle inside here, students? 90. 90. 90. And fourth also 90. Okay. If you extend the line, extend the line, extend the line, extend the line. Okay. What is this angle, girls? It's a 90 for sure. How come 90? From 180, subtract 90, but as 90. This also 90. This as well 90, this as well 90. 94 times 1, 2, 3, 4. If you add up all exterior angles, so 94 times it becomes 360. So you saw it match. And last example here discuss. Okay, interesting. Extend the line, extend the line, extend the line, extend and extend. Okay. Okay, how much this angle left behind? So you check 180 minus 108. You got a 72. So 72, 72, 72, and 72, and last time 72. So if you add them all, and check please 72, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. 5, 2 is a 10, 1 carry, 35 plus 160. You saw, if you add the outer angles, exterior angles will become again 360. So this formula is true. Okay. And now I want to tell you one thing. So some exterior angles. Okay. If you want to find each exterior angle, each, each, each exterior, one exterior angle. So what's the formula we have? 360 divided by number of sides. Uh, this formula also for regular shapes only. Okay. This is for regular shapes and this is for all shapes. All shapes. Okay. Hold on. I want to explain again. As we have this formula for for, in, for uh, one interior, how I got divided by n. Same here, one n. Okay. And interesting part, I want to tell you one thing. So if I if I bring n there, this n there, and this comes down, so I got 360 by each exterior angle. Exterior angle. Okay. So what does n stand for? Number of sides. So number of sides. Of any shape, if you want to find 360 divided by what? By exterior angle. So exterior, exterior angle. So this is a formula. I make a rectangle, red marker, rectangle. This is a very important formula. Very important. For example, this is the question we have. So have a look, please. Have a look here. So this question we have, and I'm going to finish now. So question is what? Uh, this is a one, two, three. I don't know how many sides, but this angle is a hundred and seventy two. Hundred and seventy. Let's say seventy two. Okay. So wait a minute, please. Let me check. Uh, one minute, please. Mm -hmm. Three sixty. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, okay. Let's say it is a 22.5. How much this angle, exterior angle? 22.5. Okay. I want to find how many sides. So how many number of sides, how to find in this kind of question. So formula is number of sides equal to 360 by exterior angle. And I'm going to find it. Answer is coming here. 
uh, answer is coming here 16 sites.